वेलकम बैक अगेन एंड दिस इज डॉक्टर आशीष शर्मा एंड दिस इज वीडियो नंबर थ्री ऑफ इमेज ट्रांसफॉर्म्स सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सो वही यू आर द क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड हार बेसिस फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू फोर सो वी आर ऑलरेडी सीन द हार ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैट्रिक्स इन द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम सो इट्स फोर क्रॉस फोर मैट्रिक्स विद वैल्यू वन अपॉन रूट फोर वन 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 माइनस वन माइनस वन रूट टू माइनस रूट टू जीरो 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 रूट टू माइनस रूट हेंस करस्पॉन्डिंग ए कॉन्जुकेट ट्रांसपोर्ट विल बी वन अपॉन रूट फोर वन वन रूट टू जीरो वन वन माइनस रूट टू जीरो वन माइनस वन जीरो रूट टू वन माइनस वन जीरो माइनस रूट and we all are aware that the basis images that is matrix a k l conjugate is the outer product of the column vectors of matrix a conjugate transpose so what we are going to do is extract these column vectors of a conjugate transpose so there will be four such columns now so these columns are a0 conjugate a1 conjugate A two conjugate and A four conjugate. And now, since we have four such vectors, we will have four plus four, that is sixteen different basis images, where my k and l will have values zero, one, two, and three. So we can vary. Now, in this particular case, uh, if we try to go for a matrix uh, method, okay, or the tabular method, uh, it will not fit in my screen. that's why i'm going for the step by step method over here but of course if you can write that whole thing in a page you can even go for uh, that tabular method so over here my basis image that is matrix a00 conjugate will be vector a0 conjugate into a0 conjugate transpose so substitute the value so first vector you will get like this that is 1 upon 4 with all ones Similarly, the second uh, image, basis image, will be matrix A zero one conjugate. That will be product of the vector A zero conjugate and A one conjugate transpose. So in this case, if you observe the result, you will have one upon four, and in the matrix you will have first two columns as one, last two columns as minus one. Similarly, uh, you can find A zero two conjugate, A three A zero three conjugate, and so on. So over here in a zero two, the first column is root two, second column is minus root two, and third and the fourth column are zero. Whereas in a zero three conjugate, first two columns are zero, third column is root two, and fourth column is minus root. Similarly, or uh, you can find a one zero conjugate, a one one conjugate. A one two conjugate, A one three conjugate, then A two zero conjugate, A two one conjugate, A two two conjugate, A two three conjugate, A three zero conjugate, A three one conjugate, A three two conjugate. And finally, the sixteenth one will be a three three conjugate. So these will be the sixteen different patterns uh, that we will have. Now let's go for another case. Now, now this problem is based on Hadamard transform. So the question is, obtain Hadamard matrix H eight from simple second order matrix H two. That means we have to. Start with the H2 matrix, and recursively we have to develop the H8 matrix. So, if you all you know that the standard H2 matrix, which is also known as H base one, is one upon root two, one 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 minus one, and this is a common matrix for almost all the transform. Like whether you go for hard transform, whether you go for a, a Walsh transform, whether you go for a slant transform, whether you go for a DFT, DCT, 
DST. Okay, in all the cases, you will find that this is the two cross two starting matrix that they have. Now, the Hadamard matrix can be written as a recursive Kronecker product. Okay, that means your H n is H n minus one Kronecker product with H one, or H one Kronecker product with H n minus one. Or in simple words, your H n matrix is one upon root two, H n minus one, H n minus one, H n minus one minus H n minus one. So over here, if you substitute the H n minus one values, you will recursively get the. Value. So we have over here H one. So from H one, we can generate the H two matrix, which is nothing but a uh, Hadamard matrix of size four. So it will be one upon root two h one h one h one minus h one. So if you substitute values of h one and if you take that one upon root two out, you will get this as one upon root four one 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 one. Or let me write it in uh, talking terms of the matrices over here. So this is h one. This will be again h one. This quadrant will be also h one, and this will be minus h. So this is now my whole H2 matrix. So from this H2 we can generate H3 that is of the size 8 cross 8. So my Hadamard matrix of size 8, which is nothing but H3 matrix, will be 1 upon root 2 H2 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 minus H2. So we can substitute that H2 back. That whatever 1 upon root 4 we can take it out. So that will give us 1 upon root 8 over here. And this will be the elements of H2 matrix. This will be H2. This will be again H2, and this will be minus of H2. So that is your Hadamard matrix of the size 8 cos 8. Like this, we can have a size 16 cos 16, 32 cos 32, and so on.